Today's video, I just wanted to go through some of the things that you can use on the laser, on a CO2 laser. Um, all these things here, I think a lot of these I got off like JD Plus or JDS Plus is it called. I don't normally go there, but when I first got the machine I got these. I mean, they're nice pieces of wood, they're just a bit overpriced. Yeah, so this is the JD, JDS one. It's one eighth of an inch thick, pretty much exactly. And then this is the Home Depot one. I'll hold them both together. You can see the Home Depot one's a bit thicker. I think this is about 3 sixteenths, 0.170. So, yeah, I mean this, you can see this is quite hard to bend. It's much tougher. This is just not hard to bend. It's very easy. But this has a bit nicer finish on it. You can see how, well, hopefully you can see this one's quite shiny. The back is more like cardboard, whereas this side, you've got the one good side. And then the back, you know, it's all wood, but it's, you still have a good side and a bad side. So this is like birch plywood. There's also, they sell, you know, like these, like uh, alder wood, I believe. But this is very thin. I think this is 1 16th inch thick. Um, then from eBay, I've got these, which are nice. you got a walnut, cherry, and maple which this is closer to a quarter inch thick yeah quarter inch and the laser my 80 watt laser cuts this like with no problem I've actually cut much thicker but up to about kind of half inch you know without too much of a problem sometimes you know you might have to send it twice if it don't go right through but I mean this you know these are nice wood to work with. if you just want nice flat you know pieces So yeah, I mean, there's many different types of wood. The one wood you don't want to mess with, I believe it's called sand, sandy wood or something. It kind of, you can see, it looks like this. It's a little bit yellower. And you can see before, hopefully, where I had a problem, you know, like you try and cut through it, sometimes it'll kind of start smoldering. So I would just stick away from this stuff. Yeah, I'm sure it's, sandy wood s-a-n-d-e wood but yeah don't use that this is half inch ply but yeah that's nice for doing inlays and stuff and i've even used this is I believe called melamine and uh that also this etch is really nice and then you can fill it with black paint i'll show a little uh picture of something that I've done but yeah that's just etched and then filled with black paint and cleaned off still have to give it a bit of a buffing just get the last kind of bit off but yeah just wanted to show it comes out quite neat I mean, it does a nice job I mean really any of these woods are not a problem MDF is not the most fun stuff to cut but it does go through a quarter inch MDF but you need it you know a pretty slow speed and a high power to get through that um, another thing just here yeah, actually this just come with it but cardboard I mean it cuts cardboard perfectly sorry I can hear the train coming out there so sorry about the noise if you can hear that um, another thing is this like caulking mat I believe this stuff's all quite cheap that's just under a quarter of an inch thick but yeah it's like caulk that's nice you know for the bottom of something just you know to make it a bit softer this one here this is actually magnetic so you can etch I haven't as you can see ever used this one yet but yeah it's magnetized it is laserable and that's why originally I got it from that JDS plus because I know their stuff is laserable I weren't too sure, you know, originally what was best to get. So, etch. This is only. Oh, this is real thin. 0 0.02. But I haven't tried that yet. But I believe when you etch this, it comes out white, like a two. You know, it's like a two-tone. Uh, I'll leave that on here. These here are different levers. I mean, it's the same type of lever. These are very thin. 
I did just make something out of one of these. They actually etch really nice. Some of them, I think the black when you etch it goes kind of goldy. The one I used was the grey, and that turns nice and black. But yeah, I mean, there's all different colours. These, from what I remember, was quite cheap, about $3 a sheet or something like, you know, $3 a piece, from what I remember. But yeah, it was just all different colours of them. Um, there's also this lever, this, I think this was tall, tall lever or something. I got just got it off eBay, and you can see it cuts and it etches this stuff fine. Leaves a little bit of burn over the top sometimes, but if you mask it, with you know like I use this masking tape about 12 inches wide just mask right over the top of it before you etch it and then you won't get the kind of burns around the edges yeah and as you can see I accumulated quite a few different ones over the time but these last better than you think really you know like I've just cut a piece off and used that before but this is you know you can have this is a mahogany looking finish it's actually acrylic it's a two-tone acrylic so it's white and then it's mahogany so when you etch this mahogany you end up with a white etching on it and it really shows up nice but the same kind of idea as this stuff this is supposed to look like metal and then it etches and you can see this is just normally what I'll do I'll do a few tests with the air on and air off just to see what works best yeah so this is a black top this is called Romark but yeah, if you search Romark, you'll see it. This is the same, it's black, as you can see up there. And then it etches, when you etch it, it etches like white. It's very nice for, I did, I've used it before on, uh, like my brother-in-law wanted some switches on his motorcycle. It is up on the page. And uh, it's really nice for something like that because you can cut it out, etch it. It's really clear to read. Um, I'll just go through these other row marks. So this is the same thing. This is gold and then it etches black. So when you etch away the gold, underneath is black, which is also very nice. This is the metal. It's supposed to look like aluminum and then it etches black, which that was the one I believe I was just showing you from over there. Um, this is gold and then it etches to black. Um, with this acrylic, like normally I always get cast, I see this one here is extruded, but this wasn't, this was for a light cover, so I wasn't etching it, but if you are using acrylic and you're etching and cutting, really you want to be using like cast acrylic, normally it'll say clear cast acrylic, and then with the acrylic, let's just see, what have I got here? Well, you can see there's just different, there's white acrylic, you know, um, glittered acrylic. There's basically any type of acrylic you want. Some uh, let light through and some won't. Yep, so these are all just different sizes of acrylic. Oh, there's a, you can see it took me a minute to get used to that. There it came through, but yeah, that row mark. <coughs> It can sometimes leave quite dark in there, but I worked out in the end, if you made two passes, you can see there, to cut this out, I was using a 12 speed and a 30 power, and then 500 at 20, or 400, 400 at 10, and then do a couple of passes, and it gets it off. You can see if you start going too fast, I don't know if you can see on that camera there, but it starts to get a bit like pitted. But yeah, 500 at 20, done a really nice job there. You can see that's the, the Romark stuff. And this says Romark value matte black to white. So matte black, you etch it and it comes out white. Okay, yeah, like I say, with these sheets, you can see this is a green transparent. So this would let light through. But if you get opaque, then it's solid so you know you're not gonna get light through it uh, I'll just see if I have a piece of opaque I think this might be so yeah just make sure when you're ordering you know you get the right type you want yep so these are the acrylics I think this is pretty much clear or oh, that's yellow 
But this, I just wanted to show because someone was asking about the difference. This is one eighth, one eighth inch acrylic. You can see it was nine dollars sixty for this sheet. You can see like how easy, you know, that bends. Then you got three sixteenths inch acrylic, which is, you know, a lot thicker, a lot stronger. Don't bend so much. Also cast acrylic. And then this is a quarter inch acrylic, which once you've got a sheet of it has really got not much bend to it at all. So yeah, you can see I'm trying to bend that there. I put the same pressure on this. You can see that. I put the same pressure on this and you can see that really bends, even if I just do it from the middle. So yeah, I mean, there's the difference in the thicknesses. That's one eighth inch. That one's three sixteenths inch. Hopefully it's showing up on the camera okay. And that's the quarter inch. So yeah, you can see, I mean, quarter inch is nearly as thick as the two of them. So uh, let me just see, because this says quarter inch, but when you measure it, let me see. It's actually 227. So it's actually a bit under a quarter of an inch and that's measuring it with a paper. So let me just remove a little bit of this paper. And I'll measure it. So quarter inch is about 0.222. Uh, 3 sixteenths inch is about 0.163. 1 eighth inch is 0.125, which is correct, but that's got the paper on it, so it is actually a little bit less than that. But yeah, there's all different, you know, there's hundreds or thousands probably of different acrylics. So basically you just want to get whichever one. I mean, you can see the price of some of these. I'm sure this was a lot bigger when I bought it, but you know, like obviously the thicker you get, the more expensive it's going to get. So like these one eighth inch sheets are about $9.60 to 12, $9.60 for a clear sheet. $12 for a, you know, color sheet. Another thing you can use on the laser, but not cut, but only etches, you know, like copper, brass, and, you know, any types of metal, you have to use a spray. I mean, if the metal is already finished with something, uh, let me get something that is finished. So if it's something like, these are business cards, they advertise them as on eBay, this one, I've scratched up and stuff but uh, if it's got a coating on like that like anodized you can just etch that off you know and then it'll give you like the black with the metal underneath but if it's a plain metal like this you need something like this a uh, laser bond marking material uh, you know like marking material so you just spray this on a coat or two till it looks like you know it's covered it'll just turn it gray then you etch it. I have actually done a video. I'll put a link to the video above. You etch it and then you just wash off the rest of the coating and wherever you etched will stay. And it's permanent. I mean, it does a nice job. So yeah, any type of metal, I mean, as long as you, you know, coat it or as long as it's already coated, you can use any type of metal that you want. Quick one, some of the other stuff. This is a really nice thing to get if you enjoy a bit of woodworking is uh, veneers. These are very cheap, maybe $20 for a big box. This is not even half of the box full and I've used a lot, but yeah, all different types of wood. I mean, if you want something big, you're going to have to, you know, get bigger ones. But if you go on eBay and search for veneers, you'll find like big packs of assorted, you know, veneers. And they're really fun to work with. I mean, if you've got a nice piece of, this works nice. Like if you've got a piece of half inch plywood, I mean, that ain't a good example, but I have showed before on my channel how to use them. But yeah, they're, they're really nice and quite cheap and $25 maybe. And just other, there's other cheap things, you know, like basically even plain paper plain black paper or this you know thin card and stuff like that try it out it all cuts really nice
things like this. I mean, if you're lucky enough to come across some, is the, uh, you know, like these. These are metal, but they already have the coating on them. So, yeah, I do auctions sometimes, and that's where I've got my, you know, that's where I picked them up from. But yeah, there's so many different things, really, that you can cut on there. You just want to make sure it's laser safe. And, and I mean, this is another one, is the, is this foam. So I get this from Walmart. It's about $25 for six two foot by two foot sheets so it goes a long way and then you could use this for you know like um foaming an object you know making sure something like i've done a video before and i'll link it again up the top of you know how you can cut out say a gun case or something like that that you wanted to do and then they sell any thickness so if you wanted to do something like um cosplay outfits and stuff like that you know like then you can build these up to the thickness you want and just again very easy to work with it cuts at about a 25 speed 25 power this you know edges nicely this stuff comes from home depot it's called they call it thrifty board or eculite or something like that. ecutile but like if you look or if you're asking for thrifty board they know what you mean this is about a one eighth inch thick. It's white on one side, shiny white, and then it's like wood on the other. It's a little bit like MDF, but with a white coating. But with this white coating, you can etch it off and then you can paint fill it. And then you can wipe this white clean and you get a really nice finish on stuff. Again, I've done a video before on this and I'll link it above. But yeah, I mean, basically, most stuff just got to remember if you're doing any metal metal and glass like you can't cut so i mean you can etch but you can't cut metal or glass then you can see that this is thrifty bald i just etched this out this is there it actually etches without filling it and then i just made a liner of um birch plywood to go around it like very simple uh, the only thing you do have to watch with this is if you want to hang it on the wall or something like that you haven't got much thickness to screw you know like a bracket on there so yeah just have to make sure you know you put something else on the back and then yeah any types of woods acrylics plastic or some plastics you've got to watch with the fumes on some of the plastics because some can have you know pretty bad fumes but I mean, if you do a bit of research and see first of all just make sure it's usable. I haven't had no problems yet. I mean, you can either etch the black, I this that black tile, I filled it with white, or you can spray the whole thing, and then when you etch it away, like it'll go black. All you gotta watch is, cause you can, I don't know if you can see on there, but there's, there's a line through this. All you gotta watch is when this is etching, you need to stop it every so often, just clean the nozzle off, because if it builds up too much, then you end up with lines through stuff. But yeah, I mean, that's, you know, another thing you can use is tiles. They act really nice. I see people using canvas as well, which looks like it comes out nice. So yeah, there's plenty of options and that is just some of them. And I just wanted to show some of the thicknesses, you know, because somebody did ask me how flimsy is like one eighth inch acrylic compared to, you know, three sixteenths inch acrylic. So. I wanted to show that as well but yeah thanks very much for watching and please like and subscribe and i will put out another video as soon as possible thank you